So the Power BI standard colors have come a long way since it first came out. So now not only can you update themes within Power BI directly or getting themes done by the community as well, you can actually very quickly with just a few clicks be able to get your own theme set up and ready for you to use in any report you want to create. So with that in mind, let's jump over to my Power BI desktop. So to show you how easy it is to change themes and set up your own one, I'm just going to be using this template that I've just created where I've just taken the standardized visuals and then just put in sales by region and year just to show, show the different color schemes that can go on and this one is the standard one that you get in power bi nowadays now if you wanted to just simply just change your theme within power bi all you have to do is go up to view and you'll see them over here you click down on this down arrow you get these different ones so this one is currently the default but if you were suddenly to change it to say let's go with classroom it will then change the colors across here and then if we just go in and have a look at say the colors in the columns this has got the different ones and the ordering in which it's actually doing the color scheme is based on from here to here to here to here so we can see there's that blue and then that sort of gray blue a yellow and a red which is what we've got here and if we add in an extra year it would then pick up the green and then that blue and then that orange and then that purple on how many years will show up on this particular chart so now we know how theme is set how you actually look at it and how it actually sits when you're working with something straight out of the box default in order of you have a means to be able to then go into theme gallery which will then take you to power bi's community gallery where people have made their own versions of themes which you can download yourself so if we just go along here and this one's got like a sort of orange color to it we can see a copy of the report to kind of give you an idea of what the color scheme will look like within the theme and then if you come down here there's the theme download you just download it and then once that's saved you can just go into down here and then it goes for browse for themes click on that find the theme you just downloaded open it and then just wait for it to load in and then you can see what the themes actually brought in is the old style that you used to get with power bi when it first originally came out but also it's using some of the actual other colors along here like the orange in and there so it's not actually using the standard in that order to know which ones are in there so it's it's, it's okay because you can kind of get some of the colors you want but if you wanted to kind of tailor it so you knew once you put in one thing here one thing here one thing here you don't have to keep changing it you know the first one will always be this color the second one will be this color third fourth and so on and so forth. so the way to set up your own one so you have full control you can do a simple thing of going into customize the theme and then you can change the colors within here and then move them around but as you can imagine if you're doing all that and then you're doing any formatting or any additional stuff like if there's going to be borders what the color's going to be what the background's going to be it can be quite cumbersome and quite time consuming to do that so a good way is to have a means to be able to just create your own quickly get it in and then do some changes either editing the JSON file or just setting up in the customized theme section that I just showed you. So how you do this is if you go to this website which is powerbifemegenerator.bibb.pro and basically this company has set up a means to be able to not only set up what your theme is going to look like five main colors here and that's another thing to point out only does five it doesn't actually carry on with the additional colors that we saw when we were looking at the colors before but you can also set the card background the text background and the actual background of your theme as well and then it gives you an example that you see here so in a way if you look at this theme what they've got here this is very much a kind of an autumny looking theme so if you wanted to just use what they've got here with that background that card color and that text color you can just go okay i'm going to download this and basically use that as my theme you just click on create and then all that happens is this will pop up and then all you need to do is just put in an email address and then just click this and then it just agrees to all terms and then once you've done that all you need to do is just click on create power bi theme and then once that's done it will just say this and then all you have to do is save it click off go back to your power bi desktop go down to browse for theme get the one you just created and then you'll see it all load up here now one thing you'll notice is because of the coloring it's made it even the colors that color made the cards the same color as the background is because that's how it looked there and then also you've got different sort of font 
colors and there's also shadowing as well and also it's made the table slightly bigger as well so now let's say we didn't want the cards to be this color and we wanted the text to be black we can go back to there change that to black for the text and then the card background will just make purely white fly and then all you do is just do create again save again go back to your power vr report click on it browse themes select the new one you just downloaded and once that comes through then we can see we now have our visual without the background showing through on the cards because it's not the same color and then as i said we can go in and then we can just go in here and customize and what we can do is we could add additional colors here if we wanted to like grow out the actual other ones outside the five that it gave the advanced gives you more sort of detail on what level of elements are going to come in especially like if you've got sort of text along here and then you've got your standardized theme it says here it doesn't support text format so if we do update theme there we go we can now just check what the fonts are so general it's got as that one and then titles it's got as that that and that so it's got different ones so if we all wanted to standardize them we could just go in here and do that and then we've got the standardized all the same and then if we wanted here we didn't want any borders on we can just turn off the borders and then you've got your page background wallpaper and then you've got your filter pane which does change for some reason to the actual color so you can do that and then make it white notice here it's that light blue and then filter cards you might want to be that color but let's just make them white just for now don't actually have them on here and if we just apply you can now see it's updated and then one of the things you might notice is updated is that the actual title here is a different font to what we selected and the reason being is the standardized font for some reason is georgia when it downloads from this particular site so whenever you export a json theme this will give you the titles in georgia and then what you want to do is let's say we just save this what we just created and it was this one so overwrite it and just to prove what i say if we just click on there and then if we go to title and it's saying here georgia now obviously if we changed it to what we have before which is that one then you can see it changes there but we put it back to georgia and then if we opened up our theme in notepad we can see it here unfortunately the formatting is not not that great normally the formatting comes out quite well but i think the formatting because i've saved it outside from their site into from coming out of power bi this is how it should look which makes it a lot more easier to read because obviously with json it's all a lot of data and you don't want it to kind of sit like this but the main thing is if you've just exported it from the power bi theme generator it will be in this nice format and we can see down here this is where it's in georgia if we just copy that this is the one we want to change so if we do find a place and then go georgia with that one and then if we do replace there we go can't find any more and it's changed it there was only one there and then also say we want to get rid of those shadows if we do drop shadow got it right if we do drop shadow we can see down here it's saying show true so if we change that to false and actually we just want to search that and then go down here we can see that's a false the next one is false and next one is false that one's a false and gone to the top yeah to the one we saved so there we go so now you've done that all you have to do is just click save and then if we browse again we can go browse me get it and then it will update now the problem is because we changed this one and then changed it back it doesn't member so we just put that back and then we've got it and then you'll notice all the shadowing has suddenly gone so you can really sort of play around tailor what you need and then be able to just save that file down and then use that whenever you want to start a new project or even just create your own standardized report ready for when you want to use it now the thing is you've got all those different ones you might be thinking that's great but then what happens if i wanted to not use their standardized one well what you can do is either like i say you can go in and change the different colors just like how we did back here or you can use colors which is a website that gives you all various different palettes to be able to use and if you go to that website which is spelled c-o-o-l-o-r-s dot co this will give you loads of different colors to be able to work with so if we were to say let's use this one all you have to do is click on the three little dots 
and then do copy URL back to your theme generator. Click on where it says colors, paste it in, do apply, and then all of a sudden you've got an updated theme. And then all you do, all you do is export it again, save it, save it. And if you browse for themes again, select that one, you're just done. And there you go. You've now got that same color scheme that you just took from that site there. And you've got now another theme, but again, you'll have the problem where the titles have changed to that Georgia format and also there's drop shadow. So you just have to keep updating. Just remember what you did to ever fix them. And then you can just apply the same logic when you open up JSON file to make it that way. Now, there's also another way that you can get an actual different color scheme. So if I show you, what you can do is upload an image. So if we use this one from Barbie, we can just drag and drop that picture and then it gives you a rough idea of what it thinks the palette would be based on that actual picture. And then you can apply it and then you're not quite happy with those colors. But let's sort of, let's make that pink there, come back, go here, pull it in, make a lighter version of it, apply. And then if we go to this one and then make this maybe a bit lighter. And now we have a more closely related palette to be able to use. And then all we do again, create, save it, go back, browse theme, open it up, and you now have your Barbie theme. And as I said, this is great for just being able to just quickly get a theme that would be able to work perfectly for whatever you're doing. And especially say, if you suddenly decided that you needed to make a report for your company or a client you're working with, or you want to do a project that will showcase to a company that you want to work for and you want to be able to create a report that's kind of in their branding then what you can do is find out what their branding is so marketing branding for different companies if you work for the company you can ask them for their marketing branding and it'll be able to give you that color scheme also if you don't have it you can just search so let's just say for an example we want to do some work for starbucks starbucks you can just type in starbucks branding guidelines and hopefully you will find something that will pop up in this case there is and then you can go to color and then it gives you a breakdown of their actual branding colors and then what you can do is just keep going down until you find something a bit more interesting so a good example is round here now as we're coming into autumn let's go down to fall and then we can actually see what the autumn colors look like and then because we got different ones here we could apply the majority of these when we actually go into creating our own visual when we're editing it within power bi but to save time we can just pick which ones we want so these are kind of closely related they ain't green and the starbuck green and then that's kind of a light green so that would almost appear in a later one but you could probably include it as well it's probably good to include maybe that one that one that one that one and that one just to give a, a nice variation and if you got a color picker in this case i've got one here called colorzilla which is just a chrome extension you can just click on this and then you can select the color that you've got here and then it will copy it and then you can go over to the theme generator and then you can just paste it in there we go we've got one there and then we just do the rest so if i just speed this up So now we have that theme created, we can now just have a little view of what it looks like. And this is what it will look like when we export it and then put it in with the actual report that we had before. And then we just do create again, go back to our Power BI report, go down to browse themes. And then the latest one we've done is up here, so four. So there you go, you got your theme ready to be able to do whatever reporting you need to do for Starbucks. And then again, you can just go back in and just edit it within not only the JSON file, also within the customized theme over to the side here. And then once you're happy with it, like I said, you can just export the actual final theme if you've done any changes on the customized theme, or you can just save the JSON file where you've got it. Or my preferred option is always just to have a particular file that has the theme already loaded in. And I'll just use that particular Power BI file, reusing it whenever I'm going to be using it for my particular company or client's work I'm doing. Now, if you wanted to be able to use the themes on where you've created a Power BI report before, then there is a slight issue when you do that. So here's a report I've created in the past. And what I've done in here is I have particular theme which I think I was using I think I was actually just using like city park maybe yeah the current theme is city park which is a standardized theme which is this one here and I just used that one just as my starting point no real reason I just had that because I like the color scheme but one thing when I found as I started building out the actual report was if you come down to here and we had a look at say the colors I've done conditional formatting 
And the problem with doing conditional formatting is once the conditional formatting is set, it doesn't change with the theme. So here you go. We've got a red here, which is what I've used, which is that one. And then we've got the blue here that again is part of the theme. And if I cancel, and I also did other ones here, but if I was to then change the theme, let's go with last room. I've now changed theme and as you can see, it's changed here, but not all the colors have changed. Now there's still some greens there and there is a blue, so it's probably not used. So let's go with this one. So as you can see, what's happened is it's changed all these, but because of where I have my conditional format, it's not actually changed it. And the same goes for if you imported a theme here. So let's go to, go to browse themes and then let's import our Barbie one. I think it's number three. And as you can see, what it's done, because I've imported it from a particular download from the theme generator, it's made the background into that color. It's then given shadowing on everything. And then also you've got that Georgia format as well. But the one thing it hasn't changed is what your conditional formatting is. Now, in a way, this is really, really helpful because if you did your conditional formatting, and you had it in a particular color scheme it's set it and it's not going to change which is very very useful but if you wanted it to follow the color scheme that you've rated it doesn't quite work because even here with sales and atv where i've used bar colors it's not even conditional formatting in the normal sense of where i've set it on like the bars here as a color these have stayed the same as well so it has its uses but you just need to just take into account that depending if you've done that or if you've used the color, say here, if you decided to then make your own color by going to more colors here and then just putting in a hex code, it will change. That hex code will be stored and it won't change what you've done here because it needs to match what the color theme is in here. Now, what you can do if you didn't want that to be there anymore, you can just remove the actual formatting and then therefore you can see the color that it picks, which is the first one. We can do the same over here, just remove it. And again, it's just picking pink because I've only got one color going in although this one whatever color I had originally is now picked up across here so that's the bird one and then in here I don't get the option to probably do any changes here because everything is all set down in my cell elements and then we go data bars that's showing it there maybe if I turned it off and on again yeah there we go if you turn them off and on again they do change so that's one way around it and then also up here these ones were calling out if there was actual positive or negative so that's why they go to the green or pink kind of color there which I've gone to I think it's supposed to be red but kind of pink color which doesn't really work when the text is coming through as this particular color and it's coming through this particular color because again when i was selecting the different colors along here i wasn't using the standard color for text at that point the under parts do but not for the main part so therefore you just need to be wary if you're going to be using themes once you've already done a report you might have to do a lot of cleaning up to actually get it to work how you want it to so the best thing to do really is set up your themes first to know what you're kind of dealing with for the color scheme that you're going to be working with and then build on top of that instead of suddenly going oh i like this report i'm going to now put a new theme on it and then it ends up taking you x amount of hours just to tidy it up and obviously make a backup because if you save over it and you don't have a backup then you're going to be having to set back what you originally had if you save in error but luckily i have it saved you can look back to how it originally looked before i added the theme and if you want to know how i created this dashboard check out this video over here which will go through in detail how i created everything you see here using a superstore sales data set that i have in the description below of that video